Hi, I am Cheryl, and I am a high school dropout, and now a non-traditional community college student with only 10 credits to go until um, I receive my associate's degree. I'm involved in the honors program, Phi Theta Capital. I am a mentor for students at CCBC. I participate in the culturally responsive teaching and learning conference every year for CCBC. I do missionary outreach at my church and I am now fostering my granddaughter. I participate in activities because I love giving back and someone once done that for me um, in the foster care system. I received so much love and support that I guess it just grew up in me that I someday want to give back and helping with high school dropouts, um, teen pregnancy, um, in my church, I'm a missionary um, that does outreach for the homeless, um, feeding the hungry. So that was a part of the joy, giving back. I started mentoring 15 years ago at my old middle school in West Baltimore because of the high risk of high school dropouts. Well, I enjoy it, as I said before, because I just love helping others. It don't matter where the need is, I'm, I'm just so geared into helping. Um, the impact that it has left on my life is that I now know that I have a place in our society due to the fact of the things that made it happen early on in my childhood life and my teen life, young adult, and now an uh, older woman. So, you know, it's of great impact, and especially in my educational experience. You know, it's a joy when I um, come into this institution um, and I see, you know, um, younger people looking for answers and, you know, maybe like myself, when I first got here, I felt like I wasn't smart enough to be here. I felt like I was counted out so long ago that I felt that I'm still counted out when only to find out that I had a place here. So that's the impact it has left on my life to persevere and um, journey on. You know, once I leave here, I plan on going with higher education and not just being a person that voluntarily give back to the community, but now, you know, I have a degree in human services where I can be more affected to my community. The most uh, achievement that I that I um, feel that I have gotten, it just goes back to the beginning of this conversation, giving back. It's, it's, it's a big piece for me to see. Um, I'll tell you a short story. Um, I go to the doctors downtown at the University of Maryland, and I have a lung disease. And every time I go to Lexington Market to have lunch, when I'm purchasing my lunch, I purchase another lunch and hoping that I will encounter someone that may be hungry. And I recall one time I didn't see no homeless people around and I asked the security guard in the market um, what did he know of any places they may be hiding you know out around the market he I said I'm looking for a homeless person and he was like why I said because I want to bless him with lunch today he said wow I've never seen nobody do nothing like that and I can remember I can recall even not having enough to purchase two lunches, but I would eat half of my lunch and save the other half for the, the homeless person. Um, I plan on um, moving on to University of Baltimore, where I want to um, major in human services 
Um, they have a mentoring program I want to go into there. So that's my dream. It's all surrounded around giving back um, whatever way I can.